everybody. Welcome to the Others Podcast. I am your host, Stephen Penny. Joining me, as always, King of Creams, David Travis. What's up, David? Live from the 718. What's going on, everybody? Penny. Is the 718 the location you're normally in? Well, it's weird. See, 718 is the uh, area code for uh, Queens. And I'm never usually in Queens because I'm usually at 516, which is Long Island. But thing is, uh, once a Queens kid, always a Queens kid. So live from the 718. All right, 718 today <laughs> is then. All these numbers just confuse me. What is going on, Penny? What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining, as always, people. We're going to talk something uh, quite different today. We've been working through these songs. We started with a Nori song. We've done the uh, initial NERD songs. Today, we're obviously keeping in theme with that, Neptune's produced, but we are going in a slightly different direction. Mm-hmm. And today is, I, I can imagine, a, a crush of David's at some point in the past. Maybe still, who knows? The lovely Britney Spears. You, you, know, you know what? I actually like Britney Spears. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> we're going to talk about uh, Boys today, actually, the co-ed remix. But it was a toss-up between that and uh, I'm a Slave for You. But I picked Boys just because we've actually got the video. There's a Pharrell verse in there and a hook and stuff. Mm. But we can also talk about I'm a Slave for You a little bit. Just because, personally, that is one of my favorite Neptune's beats, in fact. And let me tell you something. The video was so cool uh, as well. It was almost like I wanted Britney Spears to literally come out the TV and give me a lap dance. Like, seriously. I bet you did. Mm-hmm. So, but this is not the uh, the triple X late night show. Remember that. Not, so oh. will. I, sometimes I don't know. Am I high? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Some people are maybe uh, sensing a theme here, so yeah. pay attention to the end oh, of the yeah. podcast <laughs> as to why. <laughs> anyway, continue. Anyway, um, but yeah, like I say, yeah, I'm a slave for you. One of my favorite Neptune's beats. It's uh, it's a classic to me. It's I think as with Justin and Justified, I think it, uh, it didn't boot necessarily boost her career. She was already a massive star, but this really kind of, I think, propelled her into... Uh, 100%. Yeah, not adulthood, but that kind of more grown-up side of uh, pop music. As with Justified, it kind of turned her almost into, I was going to say a legitimate artist. That's not the right word for it, but you're not just like bubblegum pop stuff. Well, put it this way... Uh... I'm just letting y'all know right now. We, we all hated Britney Spears. There's nothing about her that we liked. Not one thing. Like We wouldn't be quite dead listening to it until that song came out. Exactly. <laughs> but until that came out, uh, yeah, we, didn't, we were just like, all right, we're not going to be cool. I think I was in high school when Britney Spears first came out. And uh, it wasn't the thing to listen to. You know, we can't be listening to Nori and secretly Britney Spears. That was like the in sync. Um, Backstreet Boys days. I was just like, yeah, I'm good. But anyway, um, that, that song was a breakthrough for us, if you know what I mean. That's pretty serious. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, I must say if he was a massive track in the clubs and in the charts. and I still play it DJing, literally. That's one of the songs I play almost every time. Because that drop, when you first drop it, it's people are just like, oh. So I, I totally agree with that on that one. Yeah, big track. And I, I've seen them... Um, I don't know if it was the Spy Mob guys or if it was the band, the guys from the band after that, but I've seen them kind of play it live as well mm-hmm. uh, during like an intermission at a show, uh, an NRD or Pharrell show. And um, it sounds really good live as well. Yeah. With like a, with like a live band playing it. I remember she uh, performed it. Um, was that the one with the snake? Yeah. 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 She's crazy. Yeah. And I remember as well seeing NRD at some point and. Uh, do you know Killer Keller? Who? Killer Keller. He's a, he's a beatboxer. Um, many years ago, well, yeah, I think he's won the, like, the World Beatboxing Championships a few times. Mm-hmm. Um, crazy guy. But he uh, supported NERD or Pharrell uh, many, many years ago. And you can look, him up, look up this on YouTube and stuff. He like beatboxes. I think I know what you're talking I'm, about. I'm a slave for you beat. Mm-hmm. And it's one of the reasons why I really like that song because you just listen to it as a pop song and you think it's quite sort of simplistic and basic and very poppy. But then when you break down all those layers, there's so much to that song. There's so many, you know, it's so structured 
and you actually listen at certain parts, especially across the chorus in the bridge, at just how many layers of different things there are. And if you watch Killer Keller beatbox it, he does that. He'll he'll beatbox each individual layer. That's crazy. And you can kind of pick out bits and pieces, and then he kind of combines it all together into one kind of thing. And it's uh, it's something to behold, especially if you watch it live. I used to um, I used to beatbox. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah. Here we go. No, I'm not gonna do it now. I mean, listen. Come on, no, no, you can't. You know what? When, when I beatbox, say I'm, that on when a I, podcast. listen. When I when I beatbox, I'm crystal clear. I really am. So uh, we're not gonna get started on that today because I'm 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 too clear. So I'm good. And I'm. And let me say something. I am happy today. So I might just do it. Seriously. I'm waiting <laughs> for that then. <laughs> um, Keep paying attention to those references, people. Ooh, if you heard that. Mm, that boom, ooh, I'm, see, I, sh- I should have been Pharrell. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it worked? Yeah. I should have been him. F- Pharrell, Pharrell wants to be me, to be honest with you. So. He's stolen your career. Yeah. So. I'm sure he'd swap in a heartbeat. What did I just say? Did I say, I, oh, I was, I was crystal clear. I'm happy I got to do it. Okay. Yeah, I can see you taking notes and people also take notes. Yeah. You can come back to this. Um, but yeah, um, well, let's talk about the boys video then. Are you a fan of the the song of the movie of anything about it? Uh, okay, so there's one thing I am never gonna lie to you about, and that is me lying. I'm never gonna lie to you about lying. That's a paradox that people like. I'm telling the truth that I'm lying. Anyway, uh, no, I, there's nothing about it I liked 100. percent I know it. <laughs> and we could, we're gonna talk about it, but there is not one thing about it I like. Well, that shot down that <laughs> down quite quickly, then didn't it? Listen, Benny. We, L- l- let me tell you, people are going to love listening to us when we are the honest truth. And let me tell you something. It's going to get better when we start having a lot more, you know, guest star people and, and both of us have like a, a dialogue where it's like yes and no and left and right. Because if we were both on here like, yeah, you know, this is great. Oh, oh, oh yeah, this is great. You know, the song Beautiful, that's the, that's the best song ever. Beautiful well, sucks. Beautiful honey, almost is worse that. than the board flip twos, gray and yellows. Here we go. This took 12 minutes of recording <laughs> for Angry David to Angry. come out. Oh, man. Well, I think... We all got the nerd hat in, on in that video, in though. two weeks' time. Yeah. So let's get back to this video, and let's try to stay calm. Okay, sorry. So, yes, this is from the Austin Powers... Is it the Gold Member mm-hmm. movie? Yep. Yep. Or, yeah. uh, that's the one with Beyonce, isn't it? Yeah. I bet that's, that's a, a regret of her that's career. That's the reason why I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, yes, it's a good reason to watch it, but I can't imagine she's happy about ever having appeared in, in that movie. No, no. I think I heard her talk about it, too. Like, oh, maybe that was a mistake. But she was yeah. in a wonderful place, so I guess she, that's why she did it. It was early days in the career, wasn't it? So you do these things. Yeah. But continue. I'm sorry. But yeah, so Austin Powers soundtrack and also I think the original Boys, so the non-remix was from Britney Spears' third album. Mm -hmm. This song itself did not chart particularly well. Well, not in the US anyway. It hit 22, got to number seven in the UK and then top 10, top 20, various places around Europe and in Australia. Uh, Fun fact, this and actually I'm a Slave for You were... um, originally intended for Janet Jackson. Oh, you took it from me. Nah, there you go. But I'm a Slave for You was intended for Janet Jackson, mm-hmm. but never got to but her. But never got to her. But Boys, is, from what I know, was actually, the demo was recorded by Janet Jackson. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's crazy because um, a lot of Neptune songs, and I'm sure everyone knows this, are meant for a lot of people, and it's, even some of the songs that are meant for other people are, are sung uh, by other um, people. So there's a song that he has, um, uh, it's called Hug Me, Hug Me, Bring It In. But uh, Shimmy Hoffa, shout out to Shimmy Hoffa, just posted the other day that the original was from uh, Fifi Dobson. Uh, it was called um, In the Kissa. Same tempo, same chord structure. 
Uh, but obviously, you know, the newer one was better. But so it's crazy that you said that. That was my ace card with this, with that song too, by the way, with Janet Jackson. Beat you to it. Yeah, Janet Jackson. I think probably wouldn't have done. I'm not gonna lie. She wouldn't have done what Britney did for it. That that's me. Especially at that time, like at I was that- about to say, yeah, she could. Like there are times when she could have killed. That yes, for I- sure. You're but right. yeah, I think uh, around that time, yeah, maybe not quite so much. Yeah, no, I mean, Britney really spazzed out on it, you know? Yeah, for sure. So yeah, Boys also, I, I, it got nominated for this, this category at the MTV VMAs in 2003. And this is one of those categories where it's like, I, I, I don't know if I'd be happy about being nominated for it. It's best video from a film. So not like best video, right? But one that's like from a film. It's like a, a subcategory of a of a category, right? It's like best video, and it didn't even it didn't even win it either, right? It, that, that's kind of weird. It's like uh, best video for those that have five uh, women and one guy in it. You know, it's like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to be fair, it did lose to uh to lose yourself by Eminem. So mm-hmm. yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Which was also ridiculous. Yeah, it's a weird thing, to, I think, to be nominated for, for one of those kind of categories. And uh. let, let me ask you, uh, what is your personal opinion on this song? We already know mine, but what is yours? My personal opinion is I like the beats. Okay. It's, a song, it's a song that I can listen to, and I, I do listen to occasionally. If it comes on the iPhone, yeah, it's not one that will skip past. Lyrically, it's okay. The hook is really weak. Mm-hmm. really poor um but as far as like you know a pop britney spears song goes it's it's okay um it's um it's crazy that you say that the the hook is uh pretty weak uh because that's one of the first things that kind of like drove me away from the song mm-hmm. i'm like i don't know like i said i'm sure you guys know i'm, I'm a musician and all that stuff kind of I listened to all of that, so that was one of the things where I'm just like, yeah, what's going on with this right now? I'm not going to lie, I, I do agree with you with the, with, this, with the song. It is a catchy beat overall. Yep. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, do I like the song personally? No, but is, is the song catchy, um, a catchy beat? Is it one of the, you know, top greatest beats? No, but is it definitely a catchy beat? 100%. Um, but she's part of the history, man. You can't, you can't, you can't talk about the Neptune's history without bringing up, you know, Britney. It's, and it's the same thing with, you know, with Nelly or, or, you know, or Snoop in the early days, Justin Timberlake, NSYNC, even like with Girlfriend, you know, those things helped the Neptunes go to where they were, regardless of what we think about it, regardless if it's like, oh, yeah, you know, blah, 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 doesn't matter. Um, so the fact that, that you wanted to bring up the slave thing, now, now slave is totally different. We can talk more about that if you want. Yeah, now, now, let me tell you something. Yep, because let me tell you, it's crazy. Because I constantly still play it till this day. That's like the only reason why it's so fresh. Um, being a DJ, you really got to play a lot of dance music, obviously. You can't just be playing any type of, you know, Neptunes at a, at a party. But Slave, I play it all the time. If I, have, if I have 25 weddings a weekend, Slave is played at 20 of them. That's how crazy it's still a big tune. And what, what was Slave was like 2001, wasn't it? Boys was 02. Was it 01? Yeah, I think you might have been right. I think I was still in high school. It's around then. Yeah. I can't remember the exact chronology of them, but it, yeah, it's 01, 02 kind of time. Well, what do you think about the boys video? It's one of those. And we, we see it with like some of the Nori stuff and other artists around that time where it's got those kind of weird intros with like, you know, other celebrities. Who was the guy at the beginning? Uh, DJ Qualls. I, could, I couldn't think of it. DJ Stan. Oh, I don't know what DJ stands for now. He's not, it's not DJ Qualls because he's a DJ. It's, that's his initials. Right, right, right. But I can't remember what that stands for. Or Qualls, Qualls, however you, uh, you, you say it. And he's, he's trying to get into a party or something, isn't he? And it just comes across as very, um, very cheesy, let's say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and like, n- n- like Nori had one with that. Um, who's the comedian? Oh, um, hold on, I, ha- I have to look it up. Yeah, go on. Hold on. He, he had a similar thing with him trying to get into a club and being with Nori, and I'm not a fan of those things in a... What, vi- 
What video was that? Keep uh, googling. It was. It was. It wasn't Super Thug. Um, was it Grimy? I'm sure somebody's gonna correct us. I can't remember. I I have it in my mind. I'm gonna. I'm opening my phone as well now. I I, I have it in my mind. Hmm. Noriega. Grimy. Video. Comedian. I'm sure my brother will know. Or was it nothing? Oh. Oh. Ah. I think it might have been nothing. I don't know if it was nothing because the link isn't working. Oh. I'm on it. Ah, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Mike Epps. Yeah. Mike Mike Epps. Epps. And then, according to Wikipedia, Jar Rule also appears in the video somewhere. Oh, no, I do remember where he is. Yes. So, yes, Mike Epps appears in that. uh, little skit intro kind of thing at the beginning, which, yeah, I think is very awful and very cheesy, uh, in both in that video and any other video, including the Britney Spears one. But bar the intro, the video itself, um, produced or directed by Dave Myers, if I remember correctly. Okay. Very standard of the time, I guess. You know, there's obviously a, a big budget there. It looks good. Um, but there's nothing that like stands out to me and says, you know, this is an amazing video because of X, Y, Z. It's he, very, very standard. Um, his hat wasn't standard. I'll tell you that much. I'm, I'm still, still looking for that. Yes. He does make a point of, uh, I, I love pointing out he's from NERD and giving that hat a big shout. Yeah. Penny looking back on things like that. When you go back, it's like, wow. That, that was cool when you look back on older videos to see stuff like that. That's nostalgia, man, right there. 100%. It hurts me deep inside because I watched that video back just the other day and thought, shit, I had that hat. Did and you? And now I don't have that hat. What the hell? I had a number of those original NERD hats. Did you sell it? No. They maybe... I think I sold one, and then one or two of them were, like, lost in a house move at some point years ago. I think you were telling me about that. Yeah. So, yeah, that always pains, pains me when I see uh, one of those OG NERD hats. And that one, that one was, uh, was a black one, too. Yeah. Which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, like you were saying, nothing, nothing too crazy about the video. A lot of choreography going on, of course. That was, like, the whole Britney Spears thing back in the day. Um, I'm not going to lie. She could dance. The, the girl can move. Yeah. Um, one location, too. Yeah. And everyone's, and everyone's having a good time. And what's the, what's the dude that was uh, Mike Myers? He was in it, too, wasn't he? Yeah, Mike Myers crops up at the end. Um, acting, well, in character, let's say. I was going to say acting like a, like a dick. But, um, yeah, in, in character as Austin Powers, in fact. <laughs> and Pharrell's chilling at the bar. Exactly, yeah. Can you, can you name... There are three other fairly well-known people that appear in the video. Can you name at least one of them? Was one of them dancing with Britney Spears? Yeah, it uh, would have been, yes, at some point, I think. You got me, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm only saying... I only know this because I've got a list in front of me because I made uh, notes. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I actually know this shit. We've got... Uh, <laughs> Penny, Jason, Pre- Jason Priestley pops up in a video. Justin Browning, I guess you pronounce his name. He's like the, the male model looking fellow that I think dances with her at some point. And Tay Diggs is in there as well. Is he? Yes. Oh. oh. You'll have to go back and watch it again later. Just skip past the intro. This is so early 2000s, it's not even funny. Those names alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Penny, I really thought that you knew the people in it. I'm like, wait a minute. How do you know everybody that's really in this right now? It's because I prepare for this podcast, at least, you know, (laughs) at least in a very, very minor way. Penny, listen to me. Are you in the video? I... Is that how you know? uh, Am I... I could be by the guy by the pool. Was that... No, it wasn't me. No, no, no. I was standing at the uh, the bar with the NUID hat on. (laughs) Wishing you were. Uh... I'd like to be in a video with Britney Spears. I, uh, not for nothing. I had a friend that was in a video with Britney Spears. Um, I forgot the name of the video, but he was an extra. Uh, he said he got paid 50 bucks to do it. 
Yeesh. Yeah. I think I would do it for free. I'm not gonna lie. She was hot back in the day. I guess if you're if you're in if you're an actor or whatever, and you're looking, I don't know what your friend does, but if you are an actor and you're looking for work, yeah, fifty bucks is fifty bucks, and you know, bit of screen time. And just so I'm sure everyone knows this already, uh, Britney Spears and Pharrell actually ended up working a lot together, especially on later albums too. So that was a relationship like the Justin Timberlake, um, like Britney Spears uh, or Nelly. He had a lot of those early relationships where he did a lot of their work. Snoop was another one. Um, so he, it wasn't like Britney Spears was one of these uh, fly-by-night artists with Neptune. She almost could have been on the label. That's how, they did a lot of songs with her. Yeah, I'm just looking quickly to see if we've got any more like tracks or anything of hers coming up. But I don't think we have. At some point in the future, we can uh, potentially discuss some more if you'd like another Britney Spears day. Well, you know what? She was... She was... Uh, she was definitely hot back in the day, but, you know, like they always say, Penny, so, you know, sooner or later, uh, it all comes crashing down. So, sorry, Brittany. <laughs> Ding. But she's one of those, she does, um, she's doing those tours, like, well, not tours, but those um, residencies in, like, Vegas, in Vegas and stuff, isn't she? Yeah. Like, to be fair, if I was in Vegas and I had nothing else to do, I'd pay to go watch her on one of those shows now. Um, there's some classic songs in there. I'm not going to, you know, to be fair, I'm not going to enjoy all of them, but there's some, there's some all right tracks in there. Yeah. I, I, I would say I would, I would probably venture out. Um, if I could get like a discounted price ticket, I think yeah. I'd be very interested. You know, some, some of her songs uh, I would have to, uh, go get some popcorn for, but, um, Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. I would, I would definitely have to break out, but you know, other than that, mm, yeah, I'm with a discount. Yeah, I, I, I'd sort of skip out for the, the really early poppy stuff, any kind of ballad stuff. But the rest, I could stick around for some of that. Now, um, I feel like we're missing... I feel like we're missing one with Britney Spears and Pharrell that was also hot. You said Slee, but I feel like there was one more. Was there? Was there really? I could be lying, though. I think you might be lying. I, I thought she had, like, another hit with them. Go on. I'm very quietly typing on my keyboard so that you can't hear me look it up. Let me see. I could have sworn there was like one more that that she did with them that was uh no that was it not not sugarful and not slave. No, I, I I think I'm lying. I think you are, yeah, because I'm looking. Yeah, up. maybe maybe it was sugarful, but that but that came later on. That came later on in the day. Yeah, maybe maybe it was that. Yeah, slave for you. Boys, yeah. All right, I'm lying. I was fronting. Sorry. Sorry, guys. And you're meant to be the expert here. I'm just jotting. Yeah, keep counting. People keep listening. Um, before we go any further, uh, is there uh, any shout outs you want to do, Penny? Before we continue, we do that first, but I guess we forgot. Uh, at least one or two, I think. First one, I'll give another shout out to um, Adam Romo because I'm actually wearing his hoodie yeah, today. He is. His NERD hoodie. And he's just released some other new stuff as he's well. He's going crazy. Yeah, man. He's got some really cool, crazy designs at the moment. So check out his Instagram, which I think off the top of my head is adam.j.romo, which yeah. is R O M O. He is. Um, I got to get one of those. If, he, if he's listening, um, I definitely need one of those because that looks good on you, Penny. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a nice top. That uh, looks I'm really fresh. liking some of his other colorways and stuff. So yeah, Adam, if you are listening, hint, hint. Um, you know where the, the DMs are. So uh, yeah. yeah, hit us up. So yeah, Adam. And then shout out from, yeah, last weekend, I think it was, um, one of our followers, Elijah McClinton. Um, he is, I don't know his actual kind of involvement i think he owns i guess uh, a website called death to heartbreaks yeah death to heartbreaks.com they do some clothing stuff they do some like artists reviews and mm -hmm. uh interviews and stuff like that uh just kind of covering your know, popular culture and hip-hop and, and things um and he kindly reached out a couple of weeks ago and asked if he could uh do an interview with me about the podcast and mm -hmm. early kind of bbc and nerd stuff so we did that last Sunday, I think, or last weekend or something. And that went live, I think it was in the week. So it's stuff that we've kind of chatted about before here on the podcast, but 
it was, you know, really, it was a good experience to, you know, chat to somebody else uh, with it, answer some slightly different questions and, uh, yeah, you know, have a, have a chat with another fan. The response from everyone has been great, you know. Um, we're definitely trying to get to as much as we can. And I was telling, I was talking to some of the, uh, the people that listen, that as we keep going and we keep advancing, you know, we're going to do a lot more, like, segments, man. Like, you know, we always do our shout-out segment. We're going to have some sound effects with that. Um, the, the, the new pickups. Ugh. I hate that word. <laughs> <laughs> but there you are saying it. I know. And, um, you know, I just want to thank you guys for that one more time because you guys have really been freaking awesome. Yeah, definitely. And if, if there's anyone else out there that wants to, like, jump on the podcast with us, I know we've had quite a few people that are interested but are maybe a bit nervous about coming on and chatting with us and, you know, recording themselves, like, just, just hit us up and we will yeah. be able to sort something out. And if anyone wants to, like, collaborate in any way, you know, interviews or whatever, then just reach out. Um, I think we're both more than happy to to kind of do these things with other people that are that are fans. Yeah, because there's um there's two people I want to get on a show, just just for their knowledge of the brand. Uh, Chris Sorensen is one of them. He he's a uh, he's definitely an OG. Um, I talk to him sometimes on the phone. The guy knows a lot. He knows a lot of stuff, and obviously, member George, who is a silent OG as well. Um, but yeah, obviously, I want to give a shout out to just so everyone knows. Um, JP actually started another um, website, excuse me, another Instagram, uh, Level Astronaut. Some heat on there. Dude is going crazy, man. Uh, I told him that he's going to uh, he's gonna get too big. He's going to start this whole uh, revolution again uh, with ice cream and stuff. He's selling a lot of heat. Um, so if you guys want to go check that out, I'll give you the uh, Instagram right now. Uh, it is uh, Level Astronaut 1, and that is his Instagram. Um, and he's selling a lot of his own personal collection stuff. So hit him up. Uh, don't waste his time. Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, I'll pay you guys in uh, 10 years. No. But JPR20 is his original Instagram. Obviously, uh, Level Astronaut 1 is his, uh, his new Instagram. It's more for just uh, selling things. Um, and uh, I thought about going to pick up some stuff too, but I'm getting ready for this NMD release in March. So speaking of which, do you have any uh, other pickups from the last week or two? Uh, um, yes, I do. I knew there'd be something. <laughs> uh, got another pair of Colettes. Ooh. We'll leave that one till next week's uh, podcast. Um, I actually picked up Two more women ice creams. I saw them for a really good price. So I hit those up. Um, I need to start wearing some of those, to be honest with you. Those are... Some of those designs are actually really cool. I like the name chain a lot. The lipstick and mm-hmm. teddy bears is really cool too, but the name chain is a, lot, is a really good one. I picked up a couple of those, to be honest with you. I think it's like two or three. I remember buying a pair of the name chains for an ex of mine many, many, many years ago. I wish I'd kept them. I think that... Uh, I think we should make a name chain with all of like the ex girlfriends and things that we don't we don't like. Just put their names on it. Um, I think, <laughs> There's not enough space in the world, my friend. Can you imagine? Um, and there was one more pickup. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of it. Um, blah, 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 blah. I copped a pair of Yeezys, but I really don't want to talk about talk about Yeezys on here. I don't know why. I feel like that's just not. You don't want to sully the podcast with. Yeah. Uh... But I picked up a pair of Yeezy. I have a small. Ye- uh, I was gonna call you Yeezy, Penny. I have a small Yeezy collection. You'll see it soon, I guess. Yeah, I, I see the boxes occasionally. I see you uh, stunting on Instagram. Yeah, I have a, uh, a small connect, but we're not gonna talk too much about that. But uh, I always do debate the Yeezys with every release. I'm like, oh, it looks okay. Well, it looks okay, but like they just don't. They don't do quite enough for me to make me go and get them in here as well. There's only, there's only one place here in Finland that sells them, which is Beam Hill. So there's always a raffle right. oh, um, yeah. for them. So you've got to do the raffle. And if you win the raffle, you've got to be there like between like 9 and 10 a.m. only the next day. And uh, yeah, it's just a pain in the backside, to be honest. And I, I'd like a pair, but I don't like them that much. Right, so to, to start the whole raffle thing. Um, yeah. But, well, I did put in for a raffle for the new 
Jordan 3s. Oh, uh, the cement joints? Mm. I can't go that route anymore. Oh, I was actually going to message it to you, but I... Uh, you should have. I held, I held off just in case, because I, I didn't want you kind of going down that rabbit hole as well. No. You know what? When they started doing the, the whole retro craze, I, I've seen the light, and I'm like, I am done. So, it's like, I, I'm not going to do this. Um, I thought about getting them. Justin Timberlake just re- released a uh, a pop up. I was just telling you about it before in New York with mm-hmm. the uh, Jordan threes. Uh, I'm not trying to get killed and stabbed, and not trying to drink or eat for ten days to get them. Um, that yeah, part exactly. Done. But um, the NMDs, Penny. Can I just touch upon that real quick? You can. the The Adidas releases are starting to get a little too ridiculous. Not in a bad way. In a way that I'm not going to have any money to survive anymore. The next release is about seven to eight pairs all at once. Do you know what that will do to me? You're going to be DJing seven nights a week, my friend. Seven to... This is almost... And it's crazy because he did the Super Color. I get it, 50 pairs. But the Super Color release, it was popular, but it's not like this release, you know? These are going to sell out quick, so... He's doing, I think, four of the, the hue and four of the, the human race. And I think after March 2nd, um, I think I'm going to end the podcast because I'm probably going to have to sell my life just to pay for them. This release is going to be crazy. Yeah, Adidas is certainly uh, cashing in at the moment, let's say, on this recent resurge in popularity. It is going to be, I am so. Ready for I'm more ready for the hues. Oh, and nice hue collection, Penny. I meant to tell you that before. Thank you. I'm proud of you because let me tell you why I'm proud of you. Let me tell you why I'm proud of them. A lot of people wouldn't notice this, but I did. On the middle shelf, I think it was the middle one, you had the hue release, all four that came out at once on one shelf. I noticed that. Ah, good spot, good spot. Because <laughs> they came out, they had the, the first release, then it was a release of four, that was the next, and the next one was a release of six, and then the last one was a release of the four um, solid colors. But they had like the pastel ones, that was the second release, they released four, and you had all four in order of, I, I noticed that. Yes. About you. That, that, was, that was some King of Cream stuff, man. Thank you, thank you. But yes, I um, I decided to go on Amazon and buy a a big shoe rack thing, seeing as I've got literally boxes piled up in my uh, in my wardrobe of shoes, which is still yet to see the light of day. So, do you keep the boxes? Yeah. I do keep the boxes. Yeah, just in case, you know, you never know. What's your favorite color? I like from that second release, like the brown and pinks. Yeah. I think, we, I think we spoke about that. Yeah, I love that colorway anyway. And then of the next releases, like the kind of pastel ones, like I've got the pink, the mm-hmm. light blues, and then there's also dark red, which wasn't part of that. But, but yeah, those three colors are really nice as well. Yeah, I have um, my favorite release is the, the pastel ones. I'm not going to lie. Um, I also like the last release, the solid colors. I think it was like red, yellow. Navy blue, like a dark blue. I like those too. Yeah. Um, but the newer ones, I'm not sure if you picked up one of the newer ones. Yet. Do you, I think you have a pair of black ones. I got the black ones. What yeah. is the difference? I was asking Chris. Is one prime knit, and the other one is what do they call it? Like upper knit or something? Because it's a, it's two different type of materials. You're you're a man with a keen eye. I've not I've not worn any of them. I haven't oh. even noticed. I've literally taken the box out, put them on the. Uh... You gotta on the the new shoe rack thing. You gotta wear them, Penny man. You live in life as a fish. You gotta wear them. Uh, mate, I would if there wasn't like three inches of ice outside oh, I like, my apartment. I this forgot. whole city is like a giant I'm skating sorry. rink. I'm sorry. What's the weather like there? Cold, bloody cold. Do you have any? Uh, I wonder if we have any fellow. Listen, if you are a New Yorker and you listen to this, hit me up. I want to know if we have any fellow New Yorkers. That listen to the I would like to know where everyone is from, to be honest with you. I'd also like to know if there, are, uh, if there are New Yorkers out there. And if we find that there are a number of New Yorkers out there, we might be able to do something, let's say. Hmm. 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 
Mm. <laughs> a plan may be in the works. I, I, I want to know. I'm going to put a post up later on. I want to find out where everybody's from. I think there's a few New Yorkers out there. Um, at least I remember a few people telling me they're from New York. But yeah, if you are, hit us up and keep your eyes peeled to the Instagram page. And speaking of that, um, you want to go through uh, task two? Yes, let's do that. So the Bape Pharrell Roadster giveaway task two. We had plenty of people contact us um, for task one. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they saw the additional post I put up. Because people, just remember, and we, I didn't explain this last time, so I will actually explain it this time. Remember, if you have, like, a private account, yes, we cannot see that stuff. Even if you, like, tag us in it and use the hashtag and all that, if we don't follow you, we're not going to be able to see it. So, as I kind of said in the, the video, I would, I, ideally, you will unlock your account and make it public. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to lock it again after the contest, that's fine. It's up to you. Or you, you could create a second account. Mm -hmm. Don't really want you to do that, but you could do that. Um, or what I will also do is I will also uh, be checking Twitter as well. So if you, okay. if you post from your private account, but you know, select to push it to your Twitter account as well, with all the information, the picture, the hashtag, etc., um, I will also check that and we will accept entries that, that go that route. Because I know some people really can't and really don't want to unlock their accounts for, you know, right, for privacy no. reasons. I understand that. No, I get it. I get it. So th there's a few little workarounds there. But yeah, ideally, like unlock your account or you know, contact us and we'll try to follow you. We're not going to follow everybody, but right. we will try to follow you as well. So okay. yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just uh, make sure you. that's very important. Because when I used to do the first ones, People would, there was one kid that was following me. I felt so bad. He was tagging me, tagging me, but I wasn't seeing it. And he actually got all the tasks, but because he didn't uh, unlock his, his page, I, I didn't see him. So that's, that's, that's kind of important, guys, 100%. Yeah. All right, so let's give you task number two. So task number two, you will have to listen to this podcast. So everything before this point of when I'm speaking now, and identify the correct number of uh, Neptunes or NERD or Pharrell-related references. So that's like titles, lyrics, that kind of thing that David has made up, up to this point. Now, as we've gone through, David has obviously been consciously uh, putting these references into conversation mm -hmm. and he's been making... Uh, some notes he's been productive for once and he's Thank made you. made a little uh, tally chart of some kind like a good boy Thank so you he much. has a number at the moment and he will share that with me after the podcast you will need to match that number right now we don't like i don't want people to like go through and pick out every reference and tell us what the references are right we're just I don't, we don't need that just give us a number right just the number's fine the same rules apply as last time. Post a picture of some kind. Use the hashtags um, others podcast task two. The number two. I did see a couple of people use like put task one and they wrote the number one. Um, I'll check for those, but please just put task two, number two. Got it. The okay. others and others podcast and obviously at us and tag us. Again, you can post any kind of picture you want. I don't care what it is. We're tagged in. Um, ideally, it would be a picture of, of the, the number of the that number. you think. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or you can just add that to the comments. Either way, you need to give us the number in some kind of way. Um, just so I could just add to that. And I know everyone is thinking right now, all I have to do is just see what somebody else put, and I'll just put the same thing. Um, now, if you really trust someone else like that, uh, because a lot of I made sure that a lot of the references weren't easy, so you really have to listen okay um so don't trust anybody else if you're a true fan and you really know just listen to it and we'll just go from there because the second you start with the oh yeah i'm gonna listen to him and that person's wrong it's just really not gonna help you out um so just really listen to it and go through it and like i said i start right away so um hopefully that'll just kind of help out a little bit 
Yeah. And uh, don't include anything I may have said, or I don't think I made any references. And also anything where it's just part of our normal conversation, that isn't going to count. Right, you'll know. Yeah. These are references that are put into part of the conversation that don't necessarily relate to the topic we're talking about. Right. Do that. Send us your number. As we say, if you don't get it right, it doesn't matter. Keep doing the other tasks. You may still get lucky. Right. Don't. If you don't get this right, you know, you're not disqualified or anything. It's fine. Right. It's not going to be a killjoy if you don't, if you don't win. So you, you guys just really listen to everything. Really go through what I say and you'll, you'll know. As a hint, there was one there. But yep. That one doesn't count, David, so don't mark it down. Because I said before I started the task reading. Oh, that's right. You did say that. See, I was trying that to catch That one does not count, people. I was trying to catch Nothing that. Nothing after this point counts. Yeah. Oh, I was going to. Nothing I was else gonna, counts. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. I'm sorry. I ruined it. That's no, cool. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But yeah. You're right. Anything from before when I started explaining the task, that's what we want. I think that uh, this is going to be a good. Uh, this is a pair of babes, man. Sometimes I double think it. I'm like, damn, what the fuck did I just do? But no, I, I have enough. So, um, and you guys have been great. Let's have some fun with it. Oh, this They're is a real nice movement. I don't care. Parabapes. Stop. I love those well, babes. Just so you guys know, um, like I said, Penny obviously cannot participate in this, but I got something better for Penny for uh, better than babes. Valentine's Day. Penny's going to get a pair of polka dot Adidas. <laughs> That he can rock any anywhere he wants. Um, you can sell them on eBay for about uh, fifteen cents. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, not fifteen cents. So things are that's, that that shoe was slept on. I don't care what anybody says. Underrated. I remember I bought them when they first came out, and then I remember seeing them months later, like crazy reduction on sale and stuff. Yeah, let me they tell you something. Re- they were really slept on. Let me tell you something right now, before we get up out of here. The first couple of Adidas were absolute ripoff, and I'm the only idiot. That pay full price for them stupid things too. 120 damn dollars, some damn polka dots. And then 10 minutes later, they're on eBay, 15 cents. Unreal. I paid that price as well, but I'm not as stupid as you. I went for one. It's the same thing with the Hughes. So I stopped. I didn't, I'm, I'm waiting with the Hughes. I'm waiting until they drop down. I think they're like 77 bucks on, on Adidas right now. Yeah, that's the thing. The, the tennis Hughes I keep spotting every now and again, they, they seem to kind of crop up on sale or get, you know, there's a new batch of them that come through and. Because they're being distributed out to a lot of third parties as well. Mm-hmm. You can always catch the sales with those guys too. Penny, just so you know, I also think I'm going to do, obviously, if I'm the king of creams, I think I should do a s- sneaker release segment. Any new shoes that are coming out, I think I'm just going to start just talking about that briefly. Um, this way we can make it a little bit more uh, than just the videos because we, we are a wealth of knowledge, man. We know a lot of, we know a lot of shit. So um, I think I'm going to add that to our little repertoire. I'll write that down in my notes, since I don't really take notes. That's it. You add that to your notes, my friend. <laughs> add, add it to the spreadsheet you never look at. It's fine. Penny, I look at it. Um, the thing is, I just don't look at it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big spreadsheet. I'll give you that. You know, it's just, I try to speed read through that. Yeah. But. All right. So um, I guess one final thing before we go. Um, last week was the release of the new Justin Timberlake album, uh, Man of the Woods, which has got uh, how many Neptune's tracks? Seven or something? Yeah, there was a lot. But Yeah. So there's, there's Neptune's, there's a few Timberland joints on there, and who's the other person? Let me tell you something. The way the album starts, um, Filthy. He could not have picked a better song to start that album. That song is ridiculous. And then it kind of goes downhill until we get to Wave. It's, the album is a mixed bag. We're, yeah, we'll talk yeah. about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely bring that up. Um, overall, I don't know what I give the album. I have to listen to it again. Yeah, I've given it like one listen through from end to end, and then I've watched the videos kind of over and over. And it's grown on me. Like, well, the, the single tracks that have got videos have, have certainly grown on me more and more. But yeah, the album itself, I think we kind of chatted about this briefly before we started recording. Like, sonically, musically, um, I think very good. It's very well produced. There is a bit of a weird mixture in there with, you know, kind of modern sounds and then trying to take it back to, the, you know, this kind of southern style as well and kind of mashing that all together. Works on some tracks. It doesn't work quite so well on other tracks. And then lyrically 
Yeah, a lot of it is quite cheesy, I find. Well, I will say you guys are probably going to disagree with me, but the best song, in my opinion, is just, just to me. A lot of people would say I like Wave or Filthy, but the best song, in my opinion, is Montana. That is a good track. Yo. Yes. That is some, I'm in the desert, like, just me and a two-seater. Sun is kind of like setting, and you're just like in the freaking, you, you almost feel like the man in the woods, you know? <laughs> so we and I'd recommend, me? yeah, if, if you like the album, or if, even if you don't like the album, um, go and watch the interview he did with Zane Lowe for, mm-hmm. for Beats 1. Um, it's like a two-part interview. You can get both parts, both on Beats 1, and it's on the videos on YouTube as well for both parts. But that was like a really nice breakdown of the album and the yeah. individual tracks and like I saw a little bit of the it. ideas and thoughts behind it. And there's a lot of talk of like, you know, his work with Pharrell and how they kind of piece stuff together. And so it, it's an, an, a nice, insightful um, interview. Yeah, check. It is very, it's very Zane Lowe-esque. He does, you know, kind of suck up to him and tell him how amazing every track is and how wonderful, you know, the writing yeah. on every track is. I can't do that. Yeah. But, you know, if you can kind of look past that and actually take in the anecdotes and the stories and stuff, it, it, it's a good watch or a good listen. I agree with you on that. I, I can't do that. I'm telling you if the song sucks, like the album sucks. Somebody hit me up last week and said things are getting, was it Member George? It might have been. Things are getting better was a, was a, he said, that was a 10 or something. I'm like, you know what? I'm glad we can all have differences. I'm glad I can say, I like when people come at me and say that. You know what? You should have gave this. I like that whole, we don't all have to agree. Um, but with this one thing that we will agree on is that the song Beautiful sucks. Oh, you. And I'm done. You, I'm done with I'm You done took that. I was about to mention balls. that. Let me, look at, let me look at our list. Gosh. And my list that I'm going to mark off, boys, that's this week. Next week, it is Beautiful by Snoop Dogg. Oh, I can't. Listen to me. And all right, we're going we're gonna to have this next week. Guys, listen to me. I can't wait. You guys, this may be our highest rating show next week. I'm going to destroy that song. People out there, if you like or dislike Beautiful, please get in touch with us and tell us why. <laughs> we should do a poll right now. <laughs> Instagram poll. Here we go. We're going to put this up later on if I get around to it. Guys. And I, we want to know what you think about Beautiful. So uh, hit us up, DM us, email us, whatever you want to do. And, and all of you can just tell me how stupid David is. It's fine. Yo. He's a big he's a big boy. He can take the I'm abuse. going I'm going to put my top three worst songs that not the Neptunes made, but that everyone thought was dope, but I thought was horrible. And it's fine, people. We all know that David's opinion is not necessarily valid here. It is when it comes to beautiful. He's, that song was you know, ugly. It should be called ugly. Ugly. I just want you to know that this song sucks. This song sucks. I just want you. I look forward to, to the comments so much. Song is shitty. I'm tempted next week to record the video of us discussing it and putting it on YouTube, just for whatever the let YouTube me tell you, comments want to spin. Let out. me tell you, there's two things I want to do, and then we get, then we'll go. I want to record. I want to do a a podcast, and you have to tell me how we could do this. But I think we should definitely do this, where you can actually hear or see me spinning songs in the background. As we talk, like I'll just start DJing. That's the first thing. And the second thing is having some sort of video, like you said, we should do that because next week I might just start playing the song and just start bashing. I might buy the CD single and just bash it in front of everyone because that's how much that song sucks. All right, people. So here is, here's something for next week then. Whatever day we choose to do this on, I don't know yet. If you would like to see... A very, very angry man potentially lose his shit. Oh, then, wait a minute. Then we, no, no, hold on. Then next week, we could do a dual Instagram live video of us recording. Penny, so you I just will thought get, of something. Go on. I don't want to put too much out there, but maybe we should hold that episode... I don't know, we'll talk about it after, but maybe we should... Okay. Oh, you, see, you see where I'm going to, right? I see where you're going with this. I see where you're going. Because we might have somebody else videoing it. You see, well, we'll talk about that. All right, but if, you, if people out there, if you would like us to 
live stream, uh, whether that's via YouTube or Instagram Live or Facebook Live or whatever, then um, again, hit us up and let us know because we can. I'm certain I'm more than happy to sit here and prop my phone up and and turn that yeah, on. Yeah, I'll do it. And I know what a social media whore David is, and he would happily yeah. do that to get his face out there to more people. Yeah. So that's it. So yeah, I reckon we could do that. All right, I'm going down to the BBC store later on. Uh, find out about these damn releases. Have an important meeting later on. So, um, with that being said, my last words are the song Beautiful Sucks, and thank you for joining. Oh, people. All right, we will, uh, we'll pick this up in the next, well, maybe next week, maybe the week after. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, we're going to leave it at that for now. Um, I am Stephen Penny. You can find me online at Steve R. Penny everywhere. Uh, you can check out the podcast everywhere at Others Podcast, Others with a Z. This podcast streams on the website, otherspodcast.com, or you can download it from uh, whatever podcast app you use. All those people that keep DMing me saying, where can we listen to your podcast? There is a thing, if you have an iPhone, called Podcasts, yeah. an app that's right there when you turn the phone on, right in there. If you have an Android phone, just go into the Google Play Store or whatever you bloody call these google thing nowadays and just search podcast app right and, and download a podcast app that works for you that you like to look that. of search for us we are right there we are everywhere pretty much and i always do a swipe up link as well from king of creams i always do it every time you drop it swipe up take you right to it that's it so yeah um also make sure you follow david at king of creams creams with a z uh, he does many Instagram stories as well, which will link to the podcast itself. Um, I think that's on iTunes, but uh, again, if you have an Android phone, you can at least get the details and then go to your own podcast app and work that shit out. Let's do it. It's not difficult, people. Yeah, you can do it. it. We have faith in you. <laughs> but yes, anyway, but if if you do need help, then by all means, do send us a message. But, you know, it's not difficult. Say no more. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, people. That's it. Thank you for tuning in, people. We will uh, speak to you all next week. Uh, Bye-bye. Peace out, guys.